Hi all, today I've got a quick tip about how to use PipeRider with DBT State. Before I start, if you're a data engineer and you've not tried PipeRider, you really should try it out. It's an open source data reliability tool and as I'll show today, it keeps getting better. So it really should be part of your data engineering toolkit. In this short video, I'll introduce how to use DBT State with PipeRider to only profile and test data models that have changed. So I've already got a DBT project set up here for New York taxi fares uh, with some simple transformations. And I've run PipeRider with an initial report. Now I'm going to make a small change to one of the transformations. I'm going to change the value of high fare. And now when I run DBT, I can select to only build the models that have changed. So you'll see that DBT is building the, only building one model, which is the high fare model. Now the great new feature of PipeRider is that you can also specify to run PipeRider against that DBT state. So you can see PipeRider has only profiled and ran assertions against the high fur table. So let's take a look at that report. Now you can see instead of having all the tables, we only have the high fur table. Now we have uh, a second new feature which allows you to compare specifically tables that appear only in the base or target report. So for this instance, if I wanted to compare this table with a table that appeared in the previous report, I wouldn't want I may not want all of these tables in the report. I may want to focus in on just the high fare table. So the new command we've got for that is you can run PipeRider compare reports and you can specify to only profile tables from, and for this instance, we're going to select the target only. So now you can see we have a comparison report and the report contains only the high fare table. So the base and target only contain tables that were in the target. So this is great if you only want to focus in on the table that has changed. It can save you time and computing resources. Now both of these features are available in PipeRider 0.14 which is available now. So you can go to PipeRider.io for more information or search for InfuseAI slash PipeRider on GitHub.